Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Terrian Bezbold back in Minecraft episode 51 of my Minecraft Let's Play series and this time, well, experiments with TNT. I'm um, using a completely newly generated world right here to uh, blow up and I'm of course using a inventory editor, otherwise it wouldn't be possible to just fool around with TNT and I don't want to spend the next five hours waiting at my monster trap back in world one. So here's the inventory editor, it's called Too Many Items, well, quite fitting name. And the first thing I wanted to test is an idea that I had uh, back on the Not On My Face show, but I couldn't test it there. Basically, well, I've seen TNT pyramids, but I want to know what happens if you build an inverted TNT pyramid, that is a pyramid that is standing on its tip. So without further ado. Here it is, the inverted TNT pyramid, uh, down to scale of course, because I didn't want to blow up the whole world or have too many bad things happen to me. Let's lay down some redstone dust so we can go ahead and detonate that thing somewhat safely from a distance. So here it is, bada boom. And let's see what happens. Yep. Exactly. The TNT gets shot into all four directions like a cannon. Well, at least it left a nice little hole in the ground. So, let's try something else, shall we? I've seen people construct cannons with um, a water flow. So, let's try and see if we can do something like this, uh, whip up something like this real quick here. If it works, okay, if it doesn't work I need to do more research on that stuff. And um, well, potentially or with a very high probability it will not work. So let's give me some golden apples, oh yeah, 255 golden apples. One right mouse button click and you're up to full health. <laughs> so let's make a little trench here put in some water. That was actually pretty cool having a flowing water tile in your hand. And then just add some TNT. Yay! And at that point I get the feeling this will not work out, but well, who am I to judge? Oops, missed the water. No problem, the diamond armor will take the bundle to fall. Let's hit that part here and we see that nothing happens. Nothing. Zero. Zip. Nada. Not even the TNT got ignited. But at least the TNT got uh, opened up this uh, watery passage here. Well, it looks like I need to do a lot more research on that stuff. At least we got some fireworks. And that thing over there, well, I would rejoice if I saw something like that. That means I could make a qu really cool house, but I'm not here to make houses. I'm here to blow stuff up. So here is a TTB sign made of TNT. Let's see what it does, shall we? Now, theoretically, all these things should ignite at the same time, but only one block ignites. I don't know, don't know why that is so, but well, here is the exploding TNT sign, uh, the exploding TTB TNT sign, and it made a nice crater, but again, if you want to make really deep craters, you can't build the TNT upwards. You need to dig into stuff and uh, make sure that the TNT detonates down below where you want it to detonate and not up where, um, well, the only thing you kill is the air. So going into overdrive again because that thing took a while to build, I just wasted about half an hour on that thingy. Well not wasted, the boom was cool but still took some time to build and you can't make a mistake. By the way, um, guys, am I the only one who's wondering why the heck you can't reclaim your TNT blocks? It's like if you place them, that's it, you have to detonate it. Doesn't matter if it stands in your living room or whatever, you have to detonate it. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. So, now that bit bad boy I wanna detonate from a distance, so I'm right now just making some inverters to um, switch that thingy on later. And um, right as I'm commentating this thing, I'm thinking, what the heck, TTB, you could also made a redstone repeater. Well, that stuff is new, I haven't done one yet, so yeah, well, guess what? I had no idea what I was doing, so I just went with good old inverters. 
Well, they worked. At least they worked. So, that should be a very safe distance up here. Oh yeah, let's see if that works. Okay. And add the fuse. Okay. It looks like that the um, TNG blocks affected will be only the one block that's directly in the direction that the redstone dust is facing. So now I'm making a little emergency shelter. There are skeletons everywhere. You'll hear them, hear them shooting in a few seconds. Trying to get into my shelter right here. Ooh, close it off. And good night. And wake up, whip out the, bring out the axe, and get to work. You bony menace. I'll show you who's king around these parts. It's the TTB with the diamond sword and golden apples and cheater inventory and hello sheep. Well, doesn't matter. We're testing stuff, we're experimenting, so... For science, let us detonate that thing and uh, goodbye creepers down there. <laughs> You're so dead. Okay, oops, again. Ignition! Houston, we have lift off! Boom! <laughs> and the creepers got killed. <laughs> well, that was a nice hole in the ground. So. I'd have expected to do that stuff to do more, but again, the big problem here right here is if TNT has space to go up, it will go up. It will get blown um, upwards. So I'll just add a obsidian block right here to serve as my basis and just drop TNT blocks from here. That might actually be my new favorite way of constructing a mineshaft. Boom. And here we go again. And again. Boom. Boom. Well, that's definitely quicker than mining it by hand. Boom. <laughs> ha, TNT. That never gets all that stuff. Okay, let's go into overdrive mode, shall we? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> ah, I love that sound. That's even cool on overdrive. Alright. Uh, I think it's about time to go down there and see what big mess we made. So, let's hop down, shall we? Ouch! It's quite a drop. Ooh, well, there we are. Rock bottom. And we see... Nothing. And some diamonds. Aha! Well, that is about it. So, what do we do? Well, of course, blow up more TNT. Boom! And didn't do anything. Interesting. So water blocks TNT explosions. Good to know. Not down here. Ooh, the underworld. Water and fire and lava and whatever. And uh, by the way, did you guys know that TNT doesn't explode when you place it into lava? No, it actually has to catch on fire by, with embers. Otherwise, there will be no problem whatsoever. You can make a bridge out of TNT in lava. Okay, now it's got uh, caught on fire. Uh oh. Ooh. Oops. Skeleton shooting at me. Oh no, you don't. I shall have my revenge, you skeleton bastard. Die! <laughs> it's kind of funny fighting with TNT. Well. Let's see how good this diamond armor really is. Turns out direct proximity to TNT is hazardous and the skeletons are coming to loop my stuff. So with these scenes, this has been TTB. Goodbye. See you guys soon. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. 
you like this episode and want to see more stuff with TNT, just give me a hell yeah!